Okay, so here I'm going to uh, demonstrate um, what it takes to make uh, a traditional Japanese uh, ukayo woodblock print. And so for the first step, uh, I'm just going to do really quickly uh, how to show you um, the basic thing is to take your let me see, to take your sumi ink paper. Sorry, um, shodan paper, and this is um, traditional Chinese uh, rice paper. You can also use mulberry paper, and uh, you just basically wet it down. And you need the reason uh, you can do a hand printed woodblock is because. Um, because you're using very little force uh, because of the moisture that's involved. It's not like um, using an etching press. It's not like intaglio printing or other printing methods. It can be done all by hand uh, because uh, the ink really just uh, gets absorbed by the paper. So I would usually do a whole bunch of these. But just for the sake of brevity, I'm going to uh, just do one. And I'm going to prepare the block. And usually throughout the whole process, you want to, uh, you want to really keep the, uh, the paper moist. So this is from the That Feel One No GF series. I believe this is called Embrace. And uh, the beauty of using a hardwood, now this is, uh, I believe, um, it's plywood, but it's um, oak ply, I think. I believe it's oak ply. No, birch ply, birch ply. Uh, I, I'm starting to use other woods because this one's very sinewy. But basically, you just have to prep the block again with moisture. And I use really uh, traditional methods of block printing. So now that it's moist, what I'm going to do is use traditional sumi ink as my basis. So that's the main ink. It's basically uh, the most, uh, <laughs> the most Lindy form of ink because it's been around for literally thousands of years and I only need a little bit. And it's basically um, animal carbon from uh, talon glue, tallow glue and things like that with uh, birch or uh, cherry hardwood or other hardwoods that are um, rendered down into charcoal. And this has literally existed for thousands of years. And that, hence why a lot of sumi ink painting still exists today. And the other component that makes the ink stick, that, uh, that, binds, that binds the ink better to the paper is nori paste. And nori paste is just rice paste, uh, again, traditional 100% natural rice paste that's existed for a long time. Uh, again, Lindy, thousands of years. And I just want to excite the brush a little bit. Now, some of them use uh, hand brushes, but this, uh, this stippler brush, or what they call a, a brailler, it's equally as good because the fibers are very tight and they give you a very even uh, coating. So what you do is you just take a bit of nori paste, put it on the block, and you mix it in. And it takes a bit of skill to know um, the, the different areas and, you know, usually you'll do a test print, 
but I like how different prints look, you know, they come out with different degrees of ink and some areas are more highlighted than others. But uh, I, I like that effect that hand printing has as opposed to using an etching press. Um, so then you gently lay the paper down and you try to be, you know, they have different grooves that you can use for edges. But generally what I like to do is uh, line things up uh, evenly. And to protect it, you just take a piece of paper. So this is, uh, usually I'll have some wax paper, but this is just wax paper. And apply even pressure all around. This is called, this is a plastic version of a bamboo uh, device that's called a brayer or a baron, sorry, a baron. And you apply even pressure, circular motion, Usually the corners, you try to get in really good. And I think we have a decent print. So there you go. Uh, I should have wetted the edges a bit more, but this is a decent test print. And this really just shows you uh, what a traditional Ukayo Sumi ink print making looks like. So hopefully uh, that clears things up. <laughs> Goodbye.